Introducing the 2019-3 Schrodinger release. Let's explore the numerous new features and enhancements this release has to offer. Starting in Maestro, Multiple Undo is now officially supported for a vast selection of standard operations. From retracing project table manipulations to backtracking and re-editing 3D structure builds, Multiple Undo can forgive unforced errors as well as foster exploration. All the while, the new history menu helps keep track of your last 10 actions. Of the performance improvements in Maestro, we see up to a thousand times speed up in the project table performance for sorting. In previous versions, advanced sorting, such as the example shown here, could take several hours to process when applied to projects with hundreds of thousands of structures. Now, such sorting procedures can take only a fraction of the time. Significant speedups are also visible with molecular dynamics trajectory playback. As shown here, with contacts hidden, the trajectory can play up to four times faster. Working with crystal mates has also improved. Creating and removing crystal mates is now performed via the edit menu and selecting crystal mates. Here, one can expand the structure in all directions based on a distance or with a complete copy of the structure by choosing all mates. The FEP Plus panel now supports both fragment linking and linker enumeration. With fragment linking, the FEP Plus panel will automatically generate the correct mapping. As for scoring ligands with enumerated linkers, one must set the custom substructure to the new linker option, then one can pick the linker atoms in just one of the ligands to define the linker region. Protein FEP calculations now support titratable variants of standard amino acid residues. This also includes non-standard residues such as any listed in the non-standard residue database. The mixed solvent MD results now introduces hotspot detection. Here, overlapping probe densities can indicate areas of biological interest, such as potential ligand binding sites. These regions can then be ranked based on their hotspot score. Several enhancements were made to the reaction-based enumeration workflows, including the introduction of the new enumeration and ideation tasks category. With the reaction-based enumeration panel, a new option is available to display Pathfinder breakable bonds on the loaded structure. This marks the bonds that are considered breakable for enumeration, and it helps define the fragment boundaries when optionally selecting the immutable regions to exclude from the enumeration. This can be done by lassoing around structures, which auto-completes around the valid fragment. Once a region is defined as immutable, such as a core, note the lock symbol. Another enhancement is the ability to halt the enumeration during the analysis. This will return all reaction paths enumerated to that point and is particularly useful when using greater max steps on large ligands. It's now possible to generate your own custom reactant libraries from smarts and have them appear in the existing collection of reactant libraries. Specify the name of the reactant library and then the source of the structures to process. As for defining the smarts pattern, either type it in, grab it from the workspace selection or use the new predefined set of smarts. These correspond to classes for which standard libraries are available in the installation. Related to the reaction-based enumeration panel is a simpler alternative workflow known as the automated reaction-based enumeration panel. Unlike the reaction-based enumeration panel where users have ultimate control over their choice of synthetic roots and reactions, as well as the reactant libraries used for the given reaction, the automated workflow will enumerate compounds based on multiple synthetic routes. By default, up to 100 different synthetic pathways are explored 
and up to 10,000 products are generated. And also by default, the similarity filter ensures that the products are similar to a reference compound, such as the input or a alternative reference like a competitor compound. The option to return dissimilar products can also be specified. In this example, the output products are ranked based on their similarity to the input compound, and the root property details the synthetic path that led to the result. A new ligand docking panel, known as the Interactive Pose Prediction Panel, now replaces the previous Lead Optimization and Ligand Designer panels. As the name suggests, the Interactive Pose Prediction Panel allows users to interactively sketch modifications to a reference pose in 2D and quickly assess the predicted 3D pose that results. The AutoQSAR panel now supports parallel execution to train models across multiple CPUs or GPUs. This can yield an almost linear speedup as processing units are added. Over in shape screening, there is now an option to perform similarity normalization. This optimally normalizes the minimum overlap of the probe and query molecules or their shape volumes. And via the command line, it's possible to employ custom shape weights to bias GPU shape screening similarities by shape importance. Over in the protein preparation wizard, the delete waters beyond a distance from het groups is now unchecked by default. This option can be employed later in the workflow, such as after H1 optimization and even after minimization. This will help to retain the volume of the binding site and avoid some of the collapse that can negatively impact docking. Finally, over in NIME, a new FEP plus reader node is available. Note the overview and analysis ports. This should match the layout of results in the FEP plus panel. Also, it's now possible to upload NIME workflows directly to Live Design, where the workflow is uploaded as a model. These are just some of the new features in the 2019-3 Schrodinger release. As always, for more information, visit schrodinger.com forward slash new features.